WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny and cool Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and currently we have uh, most of the indices trading to the downside. The Dow's up 357 points. That's 1%. The S&P 1%. 42 points, NASDAQ 88, 6 tenths, Russell's down 7 tenths or 14, semis are up 27 tenths, trannies are the only one trading to the upside, gold's up 26.70, trade at 18.67, silver up 50 cents, 23.87 is the print there, let's do this here, I mean normally we go to take a look at our indice charts, let's do that, but let's just do that a different way, um, let's take a look at the end of day levels that you need to be watching, need to be watching because the question is, are we going to go test, take out, or reject that January 24th, and in some instances, it is a January 28th swing point. Well, for the Dow, the number to be watching, this is the Dow Cash Indices, so everybody can do this at home, is 34,421. If price closes above that, we'll have a test and rejection of a key swing point on lighter volume. If price closes underneath that, opens up the door for a further retracement or perhaps a test of the low from January 24th. For the S&P 500, the number to watch here is 44.17.35. A close below that says, okay, we can make a run for that January 24th low. For the NASDAQ 100, the number is 14.532.57. We're pretty well below that at this stage here, but I don't know what it's going to look like at 4 o'clock, but a close below that suggests a run for those lows. The Russell... It's not even down to its swing point. It happened to be January 28th versus the 24th out there. That number we need to bust through is 1968.50. The semiconductor, the number to watch here, that's also the 28th of January, is 3304. If price closes below that, says we go test that swing point low or should. The transports right now are rejecting their swing point from the, uh, I believe it is the 28th out here. Yeah, it's also the 28th. But a close below 15050 would negate that signal. For the NASDAQ Composite, the number is 13,876. For the uh, New York Stock Exchange, the number is 16,439. And for the Wilshire 5,000, it's 44,523. So those are the levels to be watching. For the index ETFs, those being the SPIs, the number to watch there is 44038. Volume so far is about 70 million. That's going against 252 million. But even if you close inside or below that swing point, the top of that swing point with light volume, you still can go down and test the bottom of that. But as we take a look at right now, each of the equity index ETFs out there, they're all pulling back with lighter volume into that January 24th level. Folks, stay tuned. David White is up next, your favorite polar bear with the Power Trading Hour. I'll be back with you tomorrow on Terrific Tuesday. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there, and have a magical Monday.